Hi, so today what I'm reading is not a comment that I read online, it's actually a letter that I got from an ex-employee that I fired about two years ago, and in this letter uh, also came a brand new S5 phone, not the, like a dual core, a quad core, brand new in box S5 phone from somebody that I fired. And this, this honestly, I, I wasn't having the best of days today. I, I fixed like one board all day. Nothing that I, I was trying to do today went right. I, I wasn't able to sleep well last night. And, you know, to come to work to a gift wrap box from somebody that I had fired, I was expecting to find dog manure. And I was expecting to find like a dead frog or cat piss or something. And I was actually opening it very slowly. So to get this with a nice, with this note, which I'm going to read, really, it, it honestly didn't make my day. Hey, Lewis, happy whatever holiday you celebrate. Before you get excited, there is a good and bad thing about this phone. This is the international version, so it doesn't have North American LTE. Please do not try to solder out the baseband and replacing it to get LTE. You are going to fry the phone. Unlike your repairs, there is no warranty on gifts. But let's face it, you're not going to go anywhere without Wi-Fi anyway. But it does have a quad-core chip instead of the BS dual-core chip. You can think of this gift a couple of ways. One, as payment for all the logic board lessons. Two, you can see it as a rebate for all the hours of YouTube video I watched at your employment. Or you can show me the security footage of X's face at your store after you tell him I'm, ma I'm making doing really well and making over, I'm not going to reveal his finances, but a good deal of money a month. Or you can just put my address in the boxes of your retina screens that you have coming in. Choice is all yours. P.S. I told my coworker you're good at Street Fighter and he wants to play you. He said if he wins, you're selling the retina to us for $300, and if we lose, he will pay $500 for them. I told him if he wins, you will sell the retina to us for $300, and if I win, that he's fired. Sincerely, your best employee, X, a.k.a. the only real tech that other guy referred to before, ever hired. <laughs> and this is cool, and it's just kind of, I want to drive a point home with this, you know. Uh, I try to, even though I seem like an asshole in these videos, and I seem like an impatient, jackass, judgmental douchebag, in real life, like in real life in my dealings with people, I do my best to actually help all the people that I come into contact with, so long as they are willing to help themselves. And even if I am firing somebody, most of the time, unless you've stolen or you've just done something really messed up, I'm not firing you or getting rid of you with like malice. It's because I've truly tried everything to make this work and it hasn't. And just because it wasn't able to work doesn't mean that like I I hate you or that I'm mistreating you or that I know you're only going to be here for a week so I'm just going to torture you and treat you like crap. And in this particular instance, this guy did get fired because I would come in and nothing would have been fixed and he was watching YouTube all day for like good bunny. But anyway, uh, the point here is you know, what this really drove home to me when I opened this box and instead of seeing a dead frog or cat piss, I, I saw a quad core smartphone which is brand new and sealed was it really pays to try to do the right thing by people. And again, there are people who are lazy. Like I, yesterday, I, just, I actually got a status update on YouTube. Like somebody said, so what is, do you have a status update on the question I asked you? It's like, suck a dick. Like it's Thanksgiving. This is free advice. Like nobody, nobody in this field even wants to give status updates for paying customers. And you're asking for a status update for free advice? Anyway, point being, like a lot, a lot of people, I, I really don't care if they don't like me because they're they're just being silly. But for the most part, for the people that I work with, for the clients, for the employees, for the vendors, these are people that I will go above and beyond to treat my idea fair. Having a bad day and coming to work after a bad day to see that I have a brand new quad core phone, the thing that retails for like five, seven hundred bucks new in box, uh, that that that's pretty cool because you know I know. A lot of, you know, again, the, a lot of the people that I've hired came from other places where they were treated like crap, where they could see the owner get shot in the head with an arrow, and they just wouldn't blink an eye or to shed a tear, because they were just, they were just treated like slaves. So, you know, sometimes I kind of wonder if I am treating people the right way, because recently I have had to fire some people where it was one of my projects where I thought, just because you're on this level doesn't mean you're stuck there. Just because you had hard times in life doesn't mean you're stuck here. I think I can take you to here, and I'm going to try my best to do it. And I failed, and I, and I felt so fucked up and bad and terrible about it. And, you know, these are things that I'm going to have to do in the future. And it doesn't feel good. It really doesn't feel good. There's nothing worse than telling somebody, you're not up to the standards I need to do what I need you to do. Therefore, you're going to have to find another pay to pay your rent. That's just, it's just a shitty conversation to have, especially when you hire somebody with, 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 when you see that potential in them for, for greatness to do something good. 
And, you know, seeing that I fired somebody and they actually got me a top of the line smartphone as a gift a year and a half later. That no, that's just really cool. So I gotta say thank you for that. And it was worth making a video to read this. And again, I don't ask for donations. I don't ask for you to get me things. I don't ask you know just because I put up videos and how to do things and how to do things nobody else shows you how to do. And just because I let people in and show them how everything works, uh, you know, I don't expect you to pay me. I don't expect. You know, I just do this because I find. I, I, and deep down on the inside, I'm just kind of like a big kid that just is so excited to be doing this stuff that I just like showing it off, even if I am showing it off to my Literally, my direct competitor is five blocks away. Uh, you know, I don't charge for this. I don't feel like charging for it. But the whole idea here is when you put that goodwill out into the world, when you're always trying to do good things, when you're trying to treat people nicely, not because you expect something in return, but just because you feel like you're contributing to the just there being less douche out there in the world, you know, really cool things happen. And, you know, when it comes time to get a business loan, when it comes time to have, uh, you know, to, to, to move commercial spaces to a new one, you bet your ass that a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend of somebody you fired is going to be on the board of that complex and decide we don't want this business there as a store. You bet your ass that a friend of an uncle of a cousin or whatever of somebody that you were an asshole to when you did not have to be an asshole to them and you did not have to be an asshole to them is going to be the person that says, you know what? This guy's business model makes sense, but that guy was a prick, so I'm going to give the business loan to this guy, even though his credit score is 100 less. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like in, in the real world, uh, you know, how far you get is very often dependent on these little, like, 5 to 20 second situations and these little 5 to 20 second encounters that you have that are often based on the silliest things. Again, it's not how nice you were to the bank executive. It's not how nice you were to the broker or the owner of the building. It was how nice you were to her daughter's sister's cousin's friend five years ago. And that's just and this this is kind of a reminder today that even for some of the some of the things I've done that I'm not really happy about that at the end of the day I haven't put as much negative energy out into the world with the people that I choose to work with as I sometimes think I've had to. And it makes me feel like in some small convoluted way that the way I treat people that work for me was is actually kind of right. And that's kind of cool. So thank you for the letter.